Pensions for public service employees are changing. That's because people are living longer compared with a few years ago. These extra years in retirement mean the costs are rising. The changes are in two stages. Stage 1, an increase to the amount you pay each month from April 2012, and Stage 2, a new pension scheme from April 2015. Let's talk about Stage 1, the increased contributions. There are three main points. Firstly, most members of the Civil Service Pension Scheme will have seen their contributions increase from the 1st of April 2012. There will be further incremental increases in April 2013 and 2014. Secondly, if you earn £15,000 full-time equivalent pay or less, this year's increase will not affect you. Current plans are that higher earners will make a proportionately bigger contribution, though no one's contributions will increase by more than 6% of pay over the three years. Thirdly, your employer's contribution to your pension will still be significantly higher than your own, and therefore is still a very valuable benefit to you and your dependents, this employer contribution is nearly 19% of pay on average. More information is available on the Civil Service website. Turning now to Stage 2, the new pension scheme starting in April 2015. From April 2015, most people will automatically move to a new pension scheme. Until this date, there will be no change to the way your pension benefits are calculated. All the benefits that you have earned under your current pension scheme are protected and for those of you in final salary schemes, your pension will be linked to the salary at the point you leave or retire. The 2015 changes don't affect everyone. You will stay in your current scheme if, on the 1st of April 2012, you were 10 years or less away from your normal pension age. If on that date you were more than 10 but less than 13 and a half years from your normal pension age, you will have an opportunity to stay in your current scheme for longer. You can find out more from the Civil Service website or by speaking to your employer or shared services about how this would work. Everyone else will automatically move to the new scheme. So most people will have benefits in two separate pension schemes, the old one and the new one. We have put up a pensions calculator for the 2015 scheme on the Civil Service website based on the offer made in March this year. There are two main differences between the new scheme and the schemes in which most of you are currently members. In the new scheme, your normal pension age will be linked to your state pension age. Your normal pension age is when you can draw your pension without its value being reduced for early payment. You may be aware that the state pension age is going to increase because people are living longer. Details can be found on the DirectGov website. The calculator on the 2015 scheme has already built in this change. You will not have to work longer. You will be able to retire earlier if you want to, but your benefits may be reduced. Have a look at retirement date options on the calculator to see the effect it has on your pension. Now turning to how your pension is worked out. Your pension benefits will be calculated differently in the new scheme. From April 2015, the new scheme will be what is called a career average scheme. We already have such a scheme called NUVOS and the new scheme will have many of the same features. This means that for each year you work, you will build up an amount of pension based on that year's salary. When you retire, each year's pension pot is added together to get your overall new scheme pension. This pension will be added to any pension you have built up under your current civil service pension arrangements to give you your total civil service pension. There is a lot more information on the civil service website and the calculator gives you the opportunity to test out different retirement options. Print them off if you want to compare them. There is also a useful guide to the calculator to help you get the most from using it. So to summarise, you should now know about the increased contributions over the next three years. And after that, for those with over 10 years to go before retirement, when you retire, your pension will be in two parts. The benefits you have earned before 2015, for most based on your final salary at retirement, plus the benefits you have earned since 2015, based on your average earnings since 2015. Visit the 2015 Civil Service Pensions Calculator at the following address to find out more.